Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I'm here to go through everything I melted this week. So as usual, first video my empties, second video my unempties. It's quite late, it's after 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. Um, I would love to be in bed. Um, but my son took forever to get to sleep. Um, you know, just those days where you have a bit of a big day and they fall asleep in the car and literally 10 minutes of a car snooze just adds like 90 minutes to bedtime. It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, so yes, if I, if I seem very brain foggy and just not very articulate today, that's why. But if I don't do this now, then I'm, I'm not going to get a chance tomorrow. So, um, okay. Empties, empties, empties. Uh, so I did this shot cup of cranberry mimosa from Teddy B. So tangerine mimosa blended with cranberry chutney. So this was nice, um, but I wasn't crazy about it. It was just, it was a nice uplifting kind of fruity scent. It was probably more tangerine than mimosa to me. No, tangerine than cranberry to me. See, my words are already all over the place. So it was nice and bright and fruity. Um, I got really good throw from it. Um, I, it didn't feel like anything that I really needed to get again. Maybe like every now and then she does shot cups and I feel like it's a scent that maybe I'd get a shot cup in just to try it again and just see, you know, but yeah, I, I, I don't think that's really a repurchase. Um, Luna Wax Indian Summer. So strawberries, green apples, pears, geranium, basil, oak and greenery. So I've had this scent before in a sample and I remember I really liked it. I'm not getting, it's down in my um, lounge room at the moment. I'm not getting much throw from it. I don't know why. I'm not even smelling much in this empty shot cup, to be honest. So I don't really know. I remember this one. I had no issues with throw last time. But yeah, this time it's a, it's very, very light, to be honest. So um, barely getting anything at all. So yeah, I'm not going to repurchase that. Uh, all hands on deck from Super Tarts. So wax on my nails. Uh, Ocean Sea Spray Seamoss Sandalwood and Ozone. So let me just double check. I get these two mixed up. Yep. No, this is the one I really enjoy. Yes. So this one smells like, um, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Teddy Bee's Perfect Storm. So it's got like a, I feel like it's like almost like a black sea kind of tone, but with citrus. I know that's not in the notes, but it really has that. I think there's a shared oil. And I think that sea moss and ocean spray are both notes so in the in Teddy Bee's A Perfect Storm as well. So I love this one. They are different, but to me, they're just sort of similar family kind of scents. And they definitely, to me, they have like an aquatic citrus. It's kind of polished too, like with sort of an amber to it. I don't know, but I absolutely love this one. This one is an absolute powerhouse as well. So this one pumped out like I had it in the bedrooms and it was like filling like half the house so super super strong 100% would get this one again it's fantastic I uh, also did um scallywag from super tart so salt water cool water type a seagrass and vanilla musk so this one's nice but I'm not as big of a fan I melted these two at the same time pardon me and yeah this one this one is more of a kind of salty water scent it has a nice kind of smoothness to it from the cool water. Like, I don't mind it, but one thing I will say is I found this one doesn't throw as well. So I had this in the kitchen, and I had all hands on deck in the bedrooms, and I could smell all hands on deck in the kitchen and not really much at Scullywag. So, yeah, it's a nice scent, but, yeah, I'm not, like, crazy about it. I do have more because I did order some in the pre-order, so I will enjoy melting more of it. I think I'll probably keep it to be like a bedroom or an office scent because I just don't think it's maybe got enough presence to be out in my kitchen or my lounge room. Probably not something I'll need to repurchase after um, I've finished the clamshell, possibly clamshells, I don't know. I may have bought more than one um, because, yeah, all hands on deck. I'll def If she keeps doing that blend, 100% I'm going to need like loads of that one. Scallywag, I can probably live without. Uh, so a couple of clamshells. So I did uh, apple cider donuts from Pumpkin Parcel. I did this this morning. It's really lovely. And what I like about it is even though it's an apple cider donut scent, it's kind of, it's a very bright kind of apple cider scent. So even though today was actually kind of a really lovely spring day, um, it didn't, it still felt appropriate for sort of a spring morning melt. 
It has a nice donut to it. It's not super cidery. It's not sickly sweet, but it is a nice sweet apple. It's it's just really lovely. I get good throw from it. It's not like crazy strong, but it was good enough. Maybe sort of medium to high. Um, and I would get this one again. I really do enjoy her apple cider donuts a lot. Uh, pumpkin parcel. See, I emptied a few pumpkin parcel clams this week. Spring soda. So this one is like lemon lime soda, vanilla, and grapefruit. Honestly, and I don't know why. But all this smells like to me is lemon curd. Um, and I was melting some lemon curd scents in the morning. So I've got this on in the bedrooms at the moment. And when I came in and smelt, I was like, why am I still melting lemon curd? Did I forget to change the melters out? Um, and then I remembered that I put this on. So I don't know why. It smells like a creamy lemon curd, but it's it, it smells like lemon curd. So um, it's throwing quite strongly. But yeah, I don't need to get that one again because it just smells like smells like lemon curd. I have enough lemon curd scents. So. Uh, music festival from Pumpkin Parcel. So this was bohemian sandalwood and vanilla, I think. It's a nice scent. It has kind of incense vibes um, on cold. On warm, it actually gave had a kind of floral to it. I was a bit surprised. I wasn't expecting to get a floral from it. Although I think that bohemian sandalwood, I think maybe... It is a, has like a jasmine or something to it. I feel like I've seen that mentioned um, in it, like with another vendor that's used the oil before. So I do, I think I get like a jasmine from it. So yeah, it's really pretty. I probably would have liked it to be a little bit more sandalwood, but, um, or well, that's kind of what I was expecting. But still, it was really lovely. It threw strongly. I don't think I need to get that one again. Like, it was fine, but yeah, anyway. And now the bags. So I did quite a few... So this week I pulled quite a few samples. So I think there's a few samples in this pile. Anyway, this unlabeled bag is uh, Britta's Creepy Treasures Wicked Berry Delight. So the label fell off. Um, this scent is like zucchini bread, cherry, strawberry, raspberry, like a whole bunch of different berries. I really enjoy it. I really like, I feel like with a lot of berry zucchini bread scents, people don't often, they'll either do cherry with zucchini bread or they'll do the berries. They won't do them together, but I actually really liked how the cherry kind of melded in with the berries and stopped it from being too sickly sweet. Um, but it's also not overly tart. So this is a really well blended um, berry bakery scent. Um, I've had it a couple of times now. I really enjoy it. Um, I don't need mass quantities of it, but I would get I'd, I'd, one, one, I would get it again. I should try to finish my sentences before I start the next one. I know I'm really bad for that. Um, and then just saying that has completely killed my brain for whatever I was going to say next. So I really like how Britta's Creepy Treasures, they do small shapes, like the little skulls and stuff like that, because, um, you know, there's certain scents that I enjoy, I just don't want to buy big quantities of, and that's definitely one of those sorts of scents. So. I did... Cake batter, waffle cone, vanilla wafer, vanilla bean noel. I actually melted this on its own this time. Previously, I've um, blended it. And it is, it's a nice bakery scent. It's actually, when I first got it, I thought that I would only want it blended. So that's sort of what I set out to do. But I just threw it on this week by itself. And it's creamy, it's cakey. Um, I think I like what the waffle cone does with it. Um, and the vanilla wafer, like they just, yeah. But sometimes waffle cones can smell a little bit funky to me and this one doesn't so it's really good yeah it was yum um i'm not not anything i'm like crazy about like these aren't the sort of bakery scents that i tend to reach for it threw sort of medium to high i don't need to get that one again but it was it was nice enough this one with a very precariously hanging on label there empire alchemy peaches and clean so fresh air peaches palm trees so this is a really lovely kind of laundry peach it's more peach than laundry, but it definitely, when like peaches and clean is the perfect name for it because it literally is like a clean scent with peach. Super fresh, um, really lovely, like great for a um, nice sort of warm day. This one, it actually threw pretty well considering that I only had two very small pieces left. I was actually going to put them both in one warmer, but then I went, oh, I... I just wanted them in the kitchen, so I spread it across the two. And it has died off sort of after a couple of hours, which would be expected for not putting much wax in the warmer. Um, but for the time, uh, probably three or four hours actually. So, but the time it was in there, it actually threw pretty well. So I was pretty impressed um, given that I get yeah, normally I would use more. 
Um, but yeah, that one, would I get it again? I don't think so. I, I mean, I have a lot of peach scents I like. I did enjoy that one, but I'm not like, you know, yeah, I, I will be fine without it. Uh, Wilshire from Empire Alchemy, so another sample. Um, this is like, I think this one's like a, I know it's got black coffee, but it's more like a kind of manly clean scent with coffee. And when I say coffee, it's not like, um, not your standard kind of, not your standard kind of coffee scent, as is best I'm going to be able to do tonight. Like, it's just a hint of, like, kind of, like, black coffee in a kind of cologne or perfume kind. It doesn't smell perfumey, but more just a, it's definitely more of a, uh, a wearable kind of coffee note, if that makes sense. So, yeah, this one's not bad. It's just kind of vaguely sort of masculine. Um, it threw medium, I'd say. I have had this one before and I have enjoyed it, but I'm kind of done with it, I think. Um, so yeah, I don't need to get that one again, but it's not bad. Um, this one's going in here at the moment. So Tea Time Tarts Baja Blossom. So green cactus blossoms, sun crisp coconut and fresh florals. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if it's just me not registering it or if it's, I'm really not smelling anything. I don't know, it, it was growing earlier, um, it is a little bit late, so maybe, maybe it's just me now, but yeah, I feel like I'm not really getting anything from this, unfortunately. In the bag, it smells really pretty, um, it smells almost like it's got, um, like, boardwalk melon clouds or something in it, not a much, but just like a slight touch of kind of sweetness, but yeah, so... I know I was, I was smelling it when I first put it on, but I'm really not smelling anything now. So probably not something I would get again. Um, movie Night Cookie Therapy. So this is from L3 Rexy Wonder. So this is... God, what was it? I think it was like, just, I can't remember. It had extra bakery notes in with the cookie therapy. Like maybe vanilla ice cream or something and bakery or cookie dough. I can't quite remember, but... It was okay. I think I prefer cookie therapy on its own to this. Like it, I, I definitely got like extra creamy notes and baker, like extra baker creamy notes and the sort of the cookie therapy, which is that, you know, sugared shortbread pretzel and another type of, oh, Santa's on keto. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was fine, but I definitely prefer sort of cookie therapy on its own. It threw really strongly, but I don't need to get that one again. Tea Time Tarts, Meet Mr. Flintstone. So this is creamy orange and sweet vanilla. This is really great. She has a great creamy orange that she uses. It smells a lot like um like an orange cordial. So like in Australia we have Cotty's cordial, which is made from, you know, oranges. But it's, yeah, like that sort of cordial drink. And it smells a lot like that. But I really like that. So not like artificial, but not like a fresh squeezed orange either, if that makes sense. And yeah, just with um, really lovely vanilla, a really lovely thrill was kind of medium to high. Um, and I, I think I would get that one again, probably not in a huge quantity, but um, yeah, I'd get it again. Savannah Blue Seaside Ferris Wheel, so sea salt, ocean moss, summer sorbet. Didn't love this one. The sea salt and the summer sorbet just didn't really gel for me. And I do get that sometimes there's kind of sort of artificially sweet berry scents with sea salt. Just they don't they don't go. So yeah, I had this on. I nearly turned it off. Um because yeah, I just wasn't loving it. It threw very strongly. This was actually very strong in my um in my lounge room. It was one of those break away snack bars so they have like the six pieces uh savannah blue i do find needs a little bit more in the warmer so i did do sort of two pieces per warmer um and yeah it threw well but yeah i wouldn't get that one again finally finished uh ravenclaw so this was originally a doggy bag of you know shapes but i rebagged it at one point because those bags always end up broken uh so ravenclaw is oh, it's starting to really rain outside um Ravenclaw is blue sugar, sugared violets. I think there's some books, Earl Grey tea. 
yeah. So this one to me is definitely on the fresh side for a blue sugar blend. I do really enjoy it, but lately I've been sort of enjoying my blue sugars more kind of smooth and um, smooth. <laughs> this is as good as yeah, but that that kind of tone. Um, whereas this really, I feel like the sugared violets comes out a lot, um, and the Earl Grey tea kind of because it has that sort of slight bergamot note. It kind of yeah gives that that kind not zesty but just yeah. I just think of sugared violets. Uh, whatever words you can think of to describe that. That's where I'm trying to go. I don't really get books. I can't even remember if books was a note or not. If it is, I don't really get it. It is really coming down out there right now. Um, nice spring rain. It's good. So, yeah, I, I do enjoy this scent. Uh, it has taken me a while to get through the doggy bag. Um, so, for that reason, I probably don't need any of this for a while. I pro it is a scent I would melt again someday. Um, maybe in a small quantity. Like, if she does another Harry Potter order, maybe I'll get, like, one of the owls. Um, but not for a while. I think I'm good on that one for a while. Throw strongly, but, yeah. Uh, that Smell Good Shop Hazelnut Cream Cafe. So coffee, creamy, vanilla, and hazelnut. So this was not bad. Um, it's I don't like it on cold. The coffee has a really kind of weird bit of burnt smell to it, but I didn't really get that warmed up. It was just a creamy coffee with, like, hazelnut syrup. So it was nice. Um, it threw well. I don't need to get this one again. Like, it's a fine coffee scent, but it's just nothing. Like, I am a little bit picky with the sort of coffee scents that I like. Um, and it just, yeah, it didn't really grab me. I did White Elephant Exchange from L3 and I did it with some fresh coffee from uh, that Smell Good Shop. So uh, the coffee, yeah, her coffee has a weird smell on cold. Um, it doesn't come through so much on warm, thankfully. It's a really, it's kind of sharp. It's kind of bitter, but it's just a weird roast to me. It doesn't really smell like any coffee I'm familiar with. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big on it. Um, it does, but it does. It blends well. It blends well with bakery. So it, I did feel like the white elephant exchange, even though I can't really smell the donuts and stuff. Um, I did get a nice kind of smoother sweetness to that coffee scent. So it was definitely not just coffee that was melting. Um, but it was kind of hard for me to pick out specifically these notes which it always is the case with white elephant exchange for me um so the combo threw pretty well i also i did put a lot more white elephant exchange in than i did fresh coffee um but yeah i don't need to get either of those scents again uh l3 cotton candy frosting boom boom coconut extreme so this was really nice um it was kind of like a I'm most the most noticeable part of it was the cotton candy, and then I guess I'm not familiar with coconut extreme, but I definitely got kind of a so kind of like a, co a coconutty cotton candy. Didn't really get much of a noticeable boom boom. I do like I I can tell it was there, but yeah, not super strong. Um, but still, it was really it was really lovely. I really like a cotton candy frosting, and in blends like this, it was yeah, it was nice. Um, it threw quite strongly it's not one I would need to get in big quantities but maybe if she had it in like a cloud cake or some bunts or something I might grab it again Jess's homespun scents beachy nights and fireflies so her beach night scent and the fireflies is like um campfire smoke night air I think there's like seat like woodsy tones it's really lovely so this one kind of comes over as a extra kind of smoky beach nights and I quite enjoyed that like I'm a bit done with beach nights but I do feel like with some smokiness and some woodiness I can I can still enjoy it so I did enjoy this I do think this time um the fireflies was not as strong whether that was because she does the chunks in overpour for these bars or she used to I don't think she does she's not doing that anymore now she does ready to ship um so possibly the pieces I melted had more beach nights overpour than fireflies chunks I don't know um or maybe just the fireflies is kind of toned down a bit but I liked it I don't need to get it again though which is good because obviously she's not offering those blender bar in pre-order anymore um and it threw well uh that smell good shop blackberry palo santo so this is a really good combo I love I've tried blackberry palo santo from a few vendors and I love it everywhere 
This one has a really good strong palo to it, so it was really nice and a really nice woody blackberry. So I really did enjoy it. It threw sort of medium to high. I think it used to throw stronger, but this one was kind of tucked down. I actually didn't realize I still had it. It was tucked down the side of one of my um, wax tubs. So it's possible maybe it wasn't sealed or something as well as, well as it should have been. So um, I possibly would get her version again. I did really enjoy it. And the last empty this week is lemon bites from the starlet corner so vanilla lace sugar cookies wedding cake lemon curd i really love this one um i was really surprised because vanilla lace i'm not actually familiar with vanilla lace as a solo scent um but i've found there have been a lot of blends that i have disliked that have had vanilla lace in them and normally they're things that like there'll be two notes that i do know i enjoy and then there'll be vanilla lace, and I don't like it. So I've sort of always just assumed I just don't like vanilla lace. But this blend, it's definitely lemon, but it's sweeter. It's got this really lovely kind of smooth sweetness. And I say smooth because lemon curd can be a little bit jarring and sharp to me sometimes. But this one is beautifully sweetened out, smoothed out. It's almost perfumish, like... It's almost there, but just not quite. Mm. It smells It smells like a really delicious lemon icing, to be honest. Like, not an overly sweet one, but just a really, really well done lemon icing, maybe on a cookie or something. Um, and it threw really strongly in my lounge room. So, no, sorry, kitchen I had in the kitchen. Uh, so, I would get that one again. I really did enjoy that. Okay, that is the empties done. So, I'm going to move on to the unempties. Hopefully, I'll see you all there, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.